It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Agora Art Family. In today's video, we're going to be speaking about the art of letting go. Now, letting go can have many benefits in our lives, and it can also improve our, our workflow, improve, uh, help us to get to the next level, help us to reduce stress, you know, all kinds of, uh, all kinds of essentials that can help us get to the next level. And so when it comes to letting go, you have to be willing to lose everything. You know, don't be a, just practice the art of non-attachment. Don't not not being attached to the things that you desire. Finding peace within yourself. Finding peace within yourself to you know be alone. Go go into nature alone, or go to that movie alone. Just spend time alone and being happy, being alone by yourself. Finding time to reconnect back to yourself. You know, that's part of it. As opposed to like externalizing that 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 attachment to some external being rather it's a uh, rather it's a friendship or a relationship you have to come to a point where you're just as happy you're you're as happy just being alone and like anything extra that's external is a addition to the happiness that you feel and so oftentimes people will start to admit a, a very needy or a fear-based mindset when it comes to whatever there is whatever they desire so whether it comes to something financially or something in terms of, of, of a friendship or or, 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 or or relationship or when it comes to art people will admit that a needy uh, that needy uh, kind of vibe and and what they desire will start to be pushed away from them and so let's say for uh, let's just say for art for example you know when you when you have that person says I really 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 want to improve there's going to be that resistance of of, of not improving and so when they, when they when they do feel that I really 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 want to improve uh, in their mind like uh, they're going to be very self-critical about themselves you know if they make a mistake and hence there's gonna be it's gonna the process is gonna be a lot slower to improve if they become self-critical in a process so I have a video on how to improve how to improve faster the emotional approach and I get more in detail when it comes to drawing and so you can check out that video and so that'll be in the pinned comments down below and so when we get to that point where I really really desire like I really really want to draw learn how to draw this thing or learn how to draw that you know uh, it's it's good to a certain extent. So let's say you're a uh, you know you're lazy, and like you you found that spark, that fire to want to push you to get the ball rolling. You know it's good to that extent. However, long term the fire has to dim down. You have to learn how to balance the fire, you know, and the water if that makes sense. And so and also when it comes to let's just say uh, you know when it comes to dating for example, you know I really really want to be in a relationship with this person. When when you're when you're admitting that kind of mindset, this this neediness mindset, you're going to end up pushing the the other person away, you know, because it's it's a very uncomfortable. No one wants to be around that kind of energy. People want to be around someone that is you know abundant in that state. And so, how would you obtain this abundance mindset when it comes to dating? And so, it's either you're you're dating multiple people, and so you don't have time to be like focusing on this one person. You know, you're, there you have multiple options, or you just love yourself. You're already admitting that that love vibe within yourself. You love being alone. You love you just love your alone time. You know, and rather the person wants to be in your life. You know, it doesn't matter because you love yourself. You're admitting that that love energy. It, you don't care about the, you know, rather they come or go, you know, set set the bird out of its cage. If they come back, they'll love you. If, if not, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm good. You know, you have to you have to get into that mindset. Be willing to to lose, you know, be willing to lose anything. And at the same time, when it comes to like the, the abundance mindset, like think to yourself, think to yourself, if I were already in this in a relationship or if i had like you know if i had multiple partners if, if you're into that you know how would my mindset be you know compared to someone who doesn't have that if my mind if, if if my mindset at that time would be of a place of abundance and so act as if you know you already have it study yourself how would you react if you had these these items 
how would you react if you had that financial wealth if you, if you had that skill you know if you had that that relationship or that friendship how would your mindset be and so let's say you you wanted to become a professional artist now a professional artist does not stop growing it's a misconception that you know they just become masters and then they settle and then they never challenge themselves and you know they're at peace and they're at ease no a, a really a really a good artist a, a, your favorite artist oftentimes they're, they're seeking ways to, to breach the boundaries you know go to the next level constantly challenging themselves learning do, doing the studies you know drawing drawing every day that's the that's what they're doing that's the that's these are the actions that the professional artist is doing the professional artist is both the master and the student at the same time there are there you can be both you know you can be the master and the student because they're constantly learning you know and so if you're a novice artist you know and you want to be a professional artist already embody the professional artist mind state embody the professional artist mindset you are a professional artist now as you embody that mindset you know you seek new ways to improve you tell yourself yeah i'm i'm a professional artist but at the same time there's also more to learn there's more to learn i can keep on growing how can i expand myself how can i become better than what i was how i was yesterday you know you embody the the uh the the professional artist you become the professional artist that's how you literally you literally just become the professional artist what actions would they take you know and so back on topic with the art of letting go now when you're when you're able to let go of things you're already abundant in that uh, in that which you are letting go of you know so rather it's a uh, it's a particular person you know rather it's yeah rather it's a particular person yeah you must have that abundance within you already love yourself you know be okay with losing the person you know people come and go have no have no attachment to people but still practice love without attachment you know likewise when it comes to you know whatever craft or whatever you're, you're learning uh you know draw you know learn learn these skills learn learn everything have no expectation of of the outcome all you have to do is just learn to, to just learn and and draw make the mistakes but be non-critical you know really be at ease but but at the same time constant constantly learn and challenge yourself challenges can be fun it all depends on our mindset and so when we when we go back to the example of dating you know oftentimes like many some people may want to like reaffirm rather the date went well or so you don't have to do any of that you know many people will say oh the, how, how was how was everything how, how, after the date or so or you know they, they'll just reconfirm but you don't have to do any of that you don't have to like uh and sometimes people will admit their their needy vibe when like you know when they're constantly saying the the how are you and the how are you like every every single day you know it's like a constant like uh trying to reaffirm where they stand with that other person it's it's, it's, and that that admits neediness and it's coming from a place of fear so we really have to study ourselves you know we really have to study how we how we react to things how would we react if we had that abundance and so how would you obtain this abundance mindset when it comes to dating and so as either you're you're dating multiple people and so you don't have time to be like focusing on this one person you know the, you're, you're, you have multiple options or you just love yourself you're already admitting that that love vibe within yourself you love being alone you love you just love your alone time you know and rather the person wants to be in your life you know it doesn't matter because you love yourself you're admitting that that love energy and you don't care about the you know rather they come or go you know set set the bird out of its cage if they come back they'll love you if, if not oh well you know i'm i'm good you know you have to you have to get into that mindset be willing to to lose you know be willing to lose anything and paradoxically what you want will come chasing you because you are the lighthouse and as a lighthouse you are the guidance you are you 
you are the that inspiring beacon that people will follow. You know, leading by example. Because you are already abundant in the light that the lighthouse is producing. You're already in that abundant state. And at the same time, when it comes to like the, the abundance mindset, like think to yourself, think to yourself, if I were already in this in a relationship or if I had like, you know, if I had multiple partners, if, if you're into that, you know, how would my mindset be, you know, compared to someone who doesn't have that? If my mindset, if, if, if my mindset at that time would be of a place of abundance. And so act as if, you know, you already have it study yourself how would you react if you had these these items how would you react if you had that financial wealth if you you had that skill you know if you had that that relationship or that friendship how would your mindset be and so let's say you you wanted to become a professional artist now a professional artist does not stop growing it's a misconception that you know they just become masters and then they settle and then they never challenge themselves and you know they're at peace and they're at ease no a, a really a really a good artist a, a, your favorite artist oftentimes they're, they're seeking ways to, to breach the boundaries you know go to the next level constantly challenging themselves learning do, doing the studies you know drawing drawing every day that's the that's what they're doing that's the that's these are the actions that the professional artist is doing the professional artist is both the master and the student at the same time there are there you can be both you know you can be the master and the student because they're constantly learning you know and so if you're a novice artist you know and you want to be a professional artist already embody the professional artist mind state embody the professional artist mindset you are a professional artist now as you embody that mindset you know you seek new ways to improve you tell yourself yeah i'm i'm a professional artist but at the same time there's also more to learn there's more to learn i can keep on growing how can i expand myself how can i become better than what i was how i was yesterday you know you embody the the uh the the professional artist you become the professional artist that's how you literally you literally just become the professional artist what actions would they take you know and so i'm going to tell you guys a story as to how fear governed my actions and so when I, during the, i was investing in the uh, the crypto market and the the price was dipping down and so i quickly pulled back so because of a uh, emotional impulse of losing money i quickly pulled back and after after like a day or so the price like skyrocketed skyrocketed like back up you know and i said to myself maybe i should have stayed a little bit and so just due to the fact that i was afraid of losing money i did lose money i lost the the opportunity of the gains so that's why i feel it's important to to uh make understand our choices make sure our choices are, are is coming from a, a place of calmness and not fear and also at the same time have the abundance mindset you are already abundant financially if i imagine if you were a millionaire what would a millionaire choices choice has been you know he wouldn't mind losing a few couple bucks he'd he'd be rational he'd say okay this remind me of the time this and this happened when the price is going down so maybe i'll wait in a little bit before i pull back i'll wait to see if the price comes back up you know so that's the abundance mindset and, the, and that millionaire is very calm and, and, and relaxed at, as to what he's doing he's very he's very rational as to what's going on and it's not like a impulsive it's not an impulsive investment and it's not a uh, an impulsive pullback you know so also be willing to lose as well you know it's okay if you lose it doesn't matter you know just if you're going to lose if you're going to lose something make sure it's coming from a place of calmness as opposed to something that's fear because you you'll gain you'll gain a lot more if it's coming from a, a calm state and so remember that you're happy with or without the money and you'll always have you know if you have a multiple source of income let's say if you're doing commissions you'll always gain that money back 
you know just remember that you don't lose you're, you're gaining get in the state of you're gaining things you know even when you lose you're still gaining you're learning from your mistakes you're learning about yourself you know everything is a game <laughs>